Yo, what is going on? You're checking out Qgen HQ. My name is Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're checking out the Ducky 1-2 Mini Mechanical Keyboard yet again here in 2021. This one's a little bit different, though. This is the MechanicalKeyboards.com exclusive Blackout Edition. Hence the name. We got black keycaps, a black case, a black gloss bottom, and a little purple Ducky logo here in the back right corner as well. Overall, it's a very badass looking sleek mechanical keyboard if I say so myself, but that's all we really have here is an aesthetic change. Nothing too crazy when it comes to the internals. It's like your basic regular Ducky 1-2 Mini. Um, if you want to see my review on that, I will link it down below in the description or in the card section as well. I don't want to give you guys a rehashed review here, but there are some things that I want to mention uh, that's pretty important here. Uh, a little negative here with the Ducky, and then one really good positive, uh, which I really do like to see here with this keyboard. So stay tuned for that. So right now, let's break down what you get with your purchase of this brand new Blackout Edition keyboard. Included with your purchase of this new Blackout keyboard, you of course get a dust cover to keep your keyboard clean, a rubberized USB Type-C cable for power, you get a Ducky branded keycap puller, and this time we get these gray and yellow accent keycaps and the Year of the Bull spacebar. If you know Ducky, you know they are big on these Chinese New Year spacebars and they never disappoint. They always look great, especially with them being shined through. The gray and yellow keycaps, they complement the board pretty well and I believe they are standard with every purchase, unlike the original Ducky 1-2 Mini where you basically get a random RNG roll of colored accent keycaps at purchase that you have no control over. Nonetheless, like I mentioned earlier, this is purely aesthetic and no major changes to the keyboard itself. The RGB glow is still really great on this keyboard and the stabilizers are still pretty decent for a pre-built, not too much rattle just like the original Ducky. Now, when it comes to the Ducky 1-2 Mini, there's no doubt in my mind that this is probably one of the best-selling keyboards to ever hit the market. Mainly picked up by gamers who were looking to get into the mechanical keyboard game, it was a great entry-level board. It's a nice small form factor keyboard that not only looked really great, but it performed great as well, all at a really fair price point. The Ducky 1-2 Mini really delivered. But at the same time, a lot has changed since the launch of the original Ducky 1-2 Mini. The competition is growing more and more each day, and it's safe to say that here in 2021, we have a ton of amazing keyboards, and some that deliver exactly what the Ducky is giving us, some a little bit more, and some even at a better price point. The word of the day is hot swap. I don't know why Ducky still hasn't decided to put a hot swap PCB into this Ducky 1-2 Mini. As a consumer, I want this. I want to be able to pick and choose whatever switch I want, when I want, and I want to have the ease of access when doing so. But here's where things get really interesting. You'll see when purchasing one of these new Blackout Editions that they have added a ton, and I mean a ton of different switch types at purchase, unlike the original Ducky 1-2 Mini did at launch. Now, since we don't have hot swap, this just makes sense. And yeah, even though some switches will cost more depending on choice, at least we have choices. When looking through these plethora of switch choices, I noticed that they had TTC switches available. TTC Gold Pink, Bluish White, and TTC Heart. Gold Pink and Bluish White are available via MechanicalKeyboards.com, but not the TTC Heart switches. These switches are a collab between Ducky and TTC, and I'm not sure if Ducky has the exclusive on these switches, but I'm sure they will drop eventually. So I just had to try these switches out, and I must say they are an absolute showstopper. I quickly fell in love with these switches, so I guess you could say the name is pretty fitting for me. Uh, these hard switches are really something. It's a linear switch. The top and bottom housing are both polycarbonate. They have gold-plated springs, an actuation force of 42 grams with a total travel of 3.8 millimeters, and an actuation at 2 millimeters. Now, the stem of the switch is wild. It's a sort of Lego system type build in three different parts. The barrel top stem is PC as well as the heart design in the middle and palm at the bottom. Yes, the heart is just for looks, and I'm sure people out there will eventually mod these with some of their own unique logos and designs, and please be sure to let me know if you come across any of that. I'd love to check it out. 
Overall, the typing experience and sound feedback of these hard switches are pretty good. Like I said, I thoroughly enjoy these switches. It's a little high pitched at times, but not too over the top. And the typing experience, it's pretty soft, yet not mushy, if that makes any sense. It has a very slight scratch to it, and I really do enjoy it. I kind of can't wait to get my hands on more of these switches. But currently, the only way to get your hands on these switches is by picking up one of these Ducky One Too Many Blackout Edition keyboards. So definitely weigh your options there and see if you want to go with that if you do please use the link down below in the description and consider using creator code QGENHQ at checkout as it does help the channel out tremendously the keyboard will run you around 110 dollars and uh yeah please use the uh, code and uh i will love you i will love you more than i love a heart switch or more than a heart switch will love you all right that was pretty good that was pretty good that was off the top right there okay on, on to the sound test Well guys, that is the Ducky One Too Many Blackout Edition. What do you think of this keyboard and what do you guys think of these new TTC heart switches? I'm really curious to hear your opinion down below. Do you love them as much as I do? Please, uh, let me know. Uh, that being said, if you guys are new here, please consider subscribing, maybe share the video with a friend, give it a huge thumbs up if you liked it. And we just hit over that 7K sub milestone. So I'm gonna be dropping a giveaway here in the near future so you're not going to want to miss it so make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell notifications so you definitely don't miss out on this giveaway well that being said i hope you guys stay safe out there i'll see you on the next one peace out